Hey there everybody, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a quick and simple and easy way to get yourself an Indian IP address. If you're trying to catch up with some Indian streaming services or your Indian bank account, if you're abroad and you're looking to get access to Indian content, or if you're in India and you'd just like to protect your data and make sure that not your ISP or government or anybody else is able to know what you're doing online, uh, then you've come to the right place. We've got Express, CyberGhost, and Surfshark. You're gonna be using these tools, um, which are called VPNs. If you're not familiar, a VPN is going to change your IP address by connecting to a different server that is in another country. And so it'll make it look like um, you're living in that country by tunneling your data all the way through to the server that you selected. So if I were to just pick uh, Washington DC and connect to it. If I go to any IP finder, it'll simply say that I am indeed in Washington DC. Uh, so let's just go ahead and bring this over right here. And this is it. So yeah, if I go ahead and switch servers, it'll make it seem like I'm in another country and I'll have access to that country's content, whether it's streaming services or whatever else, you know, foreign market. Um, and today we're talking about Indian servers. So let's go ahead and just show you how this happens. All you need to do is download and install one of these VPNs. Now we'll talk about these VPNs in just a minute, but once you've downloaded and installed one of these VPNs, you can use the links below, by the way, if you'd like to save a little bit more money. So feel free to take advantage of the discounts while they last. Once you've installed it, simply go to locations and go to all locations, Asia Pacific, and let's pick India, go ahead and connect, and let's go to the IP finder. Just simply give it a refresh and you should notice, just let it get that connection back. And there we go, I am in India. It's as simple as that. Now, let's just talk a little bit about which one of these VPNs could be the best choice for you, depending on your situation. Now, they're all great VPNs, by the way. They all work with streaming services, they allow torrenting, and they will secure your device. But I would say ExpressVPN would be my top choice because it has the biggest number of countries, so I've got more content at my disposal at 105 countries and over 3,000 servers. And you'll be able to secure up to eight devices per subscription. You have all the necessary security features, of course, uh, just like CyberGhost and Surfshark, but I would say ExpressVPN takes the cake when it comes to privacy and anonymity simply because they were able to demonstrate how much they uphold the no logs policy that they claim through a real life stress test when in 2017, the Turkish government seized an ExpressVPN server, but they were still unable to extract any information out of the server despite the seizure. So uh, as far as a VPN that's super secure, works in censorship heavy countries, and is very easy to use, Express would be the way to go. Now, Surfshark would be the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing any of the features. Uh, so you still have specialty servers and a bunch of other bonus features like the ad blocker um, and a couple of features that'll help you if you're in a censorship heavy country, as well as a speed tester and, and the kill switch and bypasser. These are the two most important ones, I would say. Uh, the kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, making sure that your ISP won't be able to know what you're doing when you turn off the VPN. And bypasser or split tunneling is gonna let you choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So you can have only, let's say, your torrenting client use a VPN while the rest of your connection is left outside the VPN tunnel. This can be a very useful feature, and it's available in both Surfshark and ExpressVPN, but not in CyberGhost, unfortunately. And speaking of CyberGhost, it's actually a great VPN if you're looking to just simply secure your device, access streaming content, be able to game using CyberGhost and Torrent. So you do have all these optimized servers for such things. You've got over seven or 8,000 servers in over 90 countries, while Surfshark has over 3,000 Torrent servers in 100 countries. And get this, you'll be able to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription with Surfshark, whereas CyberGhost will only allow for seven, and again, ExpressVPN for eight. Now, again, they all have Indian servers. They all work with streaming services. They all work with torrenting clients. 
and they're all very secure. It's really a matter of preference. Again, ExpressVPN is going to be the easiest to use and best to use in censorship heavy countries specifically. And then you've got Surfshark, which is going to give you the premium uh, VPN experience, I would say. So it basically gets all the VPN jobs done without costing you much. And if you're looking for something that's even cheaper without all the nuances of Surfshark and, you know, split tunneling and whatnot, you still get the necessary features such as, you know, the kill switch and uh, blocking ads and whatnot, uh, but nothing more than that. If that's good enough for you and you're just, again, looking to stream, torrent, and secure a device, then CyberGhost does the job wonderfully. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links in the description down below that'll give you discounts and link you to a full review if you're interested in learning more about these VPNs. And I did, out of curiosity, talk to ExpressVPN support, and they said that most people actually end up spending way more on the monthly plan. So let me go ahead and show you guys here. Uh, by the way, you can click Claim this discount again in the description down below that gives you three months for free. So most people think they may not need the VPN for more than a month. And so they just go for the monthly plan, which has a much higher rate than the 12 month plan or the six month plan for that matter. And so when people get the VPN for a month, they end up using it for more than a month and the subscription just continues at a much higher rate. So if you're looking to get a VPN for just a month, then by all means do that. But if you're gonna use it for more than a month, then go ahead and get the 12 month plan. Uh, and with a discount below, you'll get three extra months for free. And you do have 30 days to think about it in case you're not really sure. So that's basically it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.